So in this video today, we are going to be making this sort of hover glow effect when you're going over cards. It's a really cool effect to do. And you can see here that we're doing a whole bunch of different colors. You can do intensity in that. And it doesn't have to be on black. Here's a white variant with just a hint of a glow. And you can even take this into a transparent sort of thing. So over here, we have three different types of transparency here with a very light transparency and a nice light glow. And we scale it up just a little bit more. But today in this tutorial, we're going to be doing this black one right over here. Then you can take that effect and then you can do it either on white, transparent or whatever you have in mind. So let me show you how I did this effect. Okay, so here in the Elemental Page Builder, we are going to need this navigator over here. If you don't have it, then just click on this button over here and it'll pop up. And then we're going to refer to this quite a bit. So to start this off, we're going to have a container that's going to be our section that's going to house all these cards. So we're going to click on this plus, flex box. And we can actually choose this one over here because we are going to be stacking the cards across. For the settings of this container, we're going to go all the way down to gaps. We're going to change this PX to rem and we're going to give this a value of two. Then under style, I'm going to go choose a background color. I'm going to choose black for this one. And then in advanced for padding, I'm going to change PX to rem and I'm going to give this a value of two as well. Now that I have all these settings in place, I'm going to go onto the right hand side over here. I'm going to double click this name container and I'm just going to call it the card section. This is just so that we can easily keep track of everything that's going on. So if you want to edit it later, you can find exactly what you're looking for. In this container, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding three inner containers. So just click on the plus sign, take container, go it across. You can go to the plus sign again or just say duplicate like I'm doing over here. So now we have our card containers. The first thing I'm going to do with the very first container is I'm going to double click its name here on the right hand side and I'm just going to call this card. Then for the settings of this card, I'm quite happy with how it's looking like. So content width, full width, it's fine. Everything is fine over there. One thing I am going to change in this window over here is under advanced options, the overflow I'm going to say hidden. And then under style, I'm going to give this a background color. Now do be careful of your background colors because the background colors are going to overlay and offset each other quite a lot. So you are going to have to play around to get the perfect blend that you're looking for. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So this one in particular is going to show more on the edges. And it's going to be the base color for all the others to stack on top. So do be careful of what type of color you choose because it will show through. Here in the background top, I'm going to choose the color. I'm going to keep something a little bit more on the transparent side. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose this sort of dark blue color here. Once I've chosen the color, I'm going to go over to border and I'm going to give this a border radius of 12. OK, so now that we have these settings, I'm going to go to advanced and then under padding, I'm going to give this a PX of 2. So this, in essence, is going to be the border around your card that's going to help with that effect. So if you want a thicker or thinner border, it's going to be here in the padding of the card. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, the Z index, we're going to keep us at zero. And then under CSS classes, I'm going to give this a CSS class name of card. OK, so now that we're done with this container, now we're going to add three inner containers to this. It's going to look a little bit funny in the beginning. It's going to make total sense when we put in the code and then everything just starts blending perfectly. So let's just start that off. So we're going to go into the plus sign. We're going to go to container and we're going to add three here. So that's one. And then I'm going to go to the right hand side here because it's just going to be easier. Duplicate and duplicate. So now we're going to have our three containers here. So before we start changing with any of the settings here, the very first of these three, I'm going to call this content. And this is going to be the container where we can put our headings and text and buttons and anything else that we want. Then the next container, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this one as well. And this one's going to be called glow. Now this one's going to control the glow effect for when we actually hover on the card. And then the last container, we're going to change this name. And we're going to give a name of glow tracker. Okay, so now that we have renamed it, now we're going to click on the content container. And we're going to change a couple of settings over here on the left hand side. For the layout of this container, what we're going to do is I'm going to go down to gaps. I'm going to make sure it's on rim. And I'm going to give it a value of one. Then when we go to style, here I'm going to choose a background color. This one's also going to be a little bit transparent. So this one over here, I'm going to check it down to maybe about like 75% or so. If you're not quite sure how much that is, you can click on this RGBA. Then you can see this value over here, which just says 72. 
You can be as accurate as you want, but it doesn't really matter that much, as long as it's around about that number. Now here we're gonna be choosing the overlay color that's gonna be on top of the card. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it about the same as well was on the under one, just for this example. Now this color isn't really important. You don't really need it, but it is gonna help sell the effect later on. Then one thing I'm gonna do before I close this color window is I'm gonna go and copy this code over here, and I'm gonna put this into the hover as well. So if I click on hover, I'm going to choose a color and then I'm going to paste it. We are going to be needing this color because this one's going to make sure that the card stays the same color when the hover effect is actually happening. So if you change this, you can actually change the whole style of the card as well, which is really cool in other types of designs. But right here in this tutorial, we're just going to keep it the same color as the normal background. Now we've taken care of the style. We're going to go over to advanced and under padding, we're going to change this to rim. And I'm going to give it a value of three. And then the last thing we have to do in this window is if we come down to CSS classes, we're going to give a class name called my content. Okay, so now we're done with the settings of this container. Now we're going to go and click on glow. Here it's going to be controlling the actual glow and glow color of this. So we're going to go over to style and we're going to choose our type of glow that we want. I'm going to click on classic here and background type and then on the color, I'm going to look for maybe a purple. I think that looks fine over there. And then I'm gonna bring down a transparency to about a 45% roundabout. The more intense you make this, the stronger the glow, and I don't want too much of the glow effect, but that's totally my type of design choice. You can totally control how much glow you want over here. Then we're gonna go over to advanced. Now here is where things get a little bit interesting. If we scroll down, we're gonna change position to absolute. We're gonna make sure that it's clicked on the left-hand side. This value of offset, we are going to take this out. It does say zero, but we just want it blank. And then on the top, we also want it blank. Those things are important to do, otherwise this effect's not gonna work. And then if we come to CSS classes, I am going to call this glow, just like that. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna click on glow tracker. We're gonna go all the way to advanced. This we're also going to change to absolute. This one, it doesn't actually matter about the zeros. Yeah, here we can leave them but we do want to give a CSS class name. And here I'm going to call this glow track. Okay, so now we are done with all the different settings. Now we can go to our content and we can go and add stuff to this. So if I click on the plus sign and I take this heading, I can go and drag it into place. If it's not in the right container here, you can see it's in glow tracker. You can just move it across until it's in the content one and you can let go over there. But then I also want to have some text. I'm going to take, click the plus sign. I'm going to go to text editor and I'm going to put it underneath the heading here. And then what I can do as well is I can either put an icon or a button or whatever else really. Here in this example, I'm just going to leave it with these two. I'm going to change these to white quick for this example. Maybe make it center line. Click on the heading, make it white and also center line. Okay, so we're almost there at the fun part. So now at the bottom here, if we click the plus sign, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an extra container. And in here, we're gonna put the HTML widget. So there's the HTML, click and drag it across till it's there and we're gonna let go. Now there's two different pieces of code that we're going to have to put into this whole section, but we are pretty much done at this point now with the whole design anyways. Now in the description of this video, there's going to be a link that's gonna take you to a reference page on my website. We are going to take the code from the reference page and we're going to stick it into two different points here inside this designer. So here is this reference page that I'm referring to. If we scroll down to this very first piece of code, I'm going to go and copy this. I'm going to go back into my editor and then I'm going to go look for card. Now here in the card, I'm going to click on that. I want to make sure I'm in advanced. I'm going to scroll down to custom CSSs and I'm going to paste that code here. Now with the code in place, you can see that the other containers have disappeared. So it's a lot easier to work with here. Again, those are just for the effects. They have no visual representation. If you want to edit your card, it's going to be a lot easier now. Now we're going to head back into that reference page. We're going to scroll down a little bit more and here the second code, we're going to copy this and we're going to go back into the editor and in the HTML widget, we're going to paste this right here. Now, if we publish and see this in the front end, you can see there's the card. Now, as I have a, there's that purple effect happening. But let's say I want this glow effect to be a little bit stronger. So now if I go back into this page, what I want to do over here quickly, just for myself for this tutorial, I'm just making a spacer just so you can see this better on my screen. And then I'm just gonna move this to the top here so that you can see this page better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this glow effect a little bit stronger. So in the card, I'm gonna go to glow and then under the style, I can make this purple a lot stronger. 
Let's just crank it up to about there. Click publish. So now you can see that glow is a lot stronger and you can really crank it up if you want to. So let's just go on full. This is gonna be too much, but then you can see what I can really do. Now you can see how the padding of the two pixels comes into play here. So if I want it a little bit thicker, I can go into the card and this padding, let's just say four, which four is really too much. And if I click publish, you can see how it's a lot thicker. One thing I did forget to do is right here in the corner, there is still a bit of a corner on the content. So to fix that, I'm gonna go into this content container. I'm gonna go to the style and in the border, I'm gonna give this a 12, just to round out the corners of the actual card on the design there. And if I click publish, you can see how it's quite rounded out on the corners there now, and the glow is a lot stronger. And if I move away, you can see how the background colors are there. Now that we're happy with the design of this card, let's just start stacking it across. Very easy to do. I'm just gonna close this card container right over here, and I'm just going to duplicate it two times. And then what we're gonna do is the last two placeholder containers, we can remove them. Now if I click publish, you can see how now all three are working just perfectly. And you can stack these, you don't have to repeat the code in any way. So you can go and duplicate this whole thing so that you can even have six cards. So if I click publish now, you can see there's six and it's working great along the all, all six. Then you just have to stylize the spacing obviously, but here's it all working in action. If you wanted to change the colors, that's very easy to do as well. Just like in my first example, I had different colors happening, which works just fine. So the colors are completely independent from each other. So if I click on the second card and I go down to glow, here under style, I can change this color to whatever. So let's just go with a blue for this one. Make sure it's a nice blue. And then maybe the third card, if I click on that and I go to its glow and the style, I can do a lighter blue like that this is going to be very strong but at least you can see this in action so if i click publish as i'm going across you can see how it's doing all the different colors and it works just fine and you can see it's only affecting those two cards where i changed it and again you're not really limited in what you can put in these cards you can put images and anything else the card will work just fine and the effect will work just fine i hope you like this effect it's a really cool thing to do i thought it was one of the coolest effects i've seen in quite a while i hope you liked this video if you did smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.